Okay, begin day six. And Wednesday is a driving day. All the way from Quebec City down to somewhere past Toronto, depending on our ambitious, how ambitious we get. We start with 97% charge. Got that charge yesterday at the Montmorency Falls. On into Ontario, across 401, Route 401 and north of Toronto probably, I doubt we'll have time to stop, but we'll see. Here we go. Electric Superstation, Tesla Supercharger, and pretty great rest stop, very new, lots of food options, good toilets, Madrid 2.0 with a dinosaur theme, good for the kids but they're not here so off we go. Almost 20%, almost 280 kilometers, a 30 minute rest break.
time at a rotisserie Saint Hubert. Yet another electric circuit, have not failed as yet. Is that famous last words? Well, this could be interesting. Okay, it turns out it doesn't add funds automatically. So we had to do it. So now there's a balance of 20 bucks. Let's see if it lets us start. So this has gone up as well because we're now in Ontario. I guess the power is more expensive. So that's $17 Canadian an hour instead of the $11.50 in Quebec. these so far have been 125 amp 50 kilowatt units which is good and especially want that this time because we're down to a much lower state of charge so we want to be charging at 43 kilowatts or so for as long as possible okay so we're starting at 15 percent state of charge pretty low but we had a comfortable buffer 50 kilometers or so 114 125 amps and 343 volts. Perfect. So this is one of those charge stops where we really define the length of time rather than the charger doing so. Um, we wanted lunch, it was 2.30, it was uh, time to stop after several hours driving. Um, it was a good time to sit down, have a meal, and just let the car do its thing. We could have uh, left probably 15 to 20 minutes earlier, but um, we stayed for an hour and 17 minutes, relaxed ourselves, got uh, close to 44 kilowatt hours uh, at a price of $21.87 Canadian. So I'll put the translation up on the screen here for how much that costs in US dollars. But uh, it just emphasizes again the reliability of these electric circuit chargers they're you know not the fastest with being 50 kilowatt um, units kind of like evgo in a lot of places around us in new england but they're reliable you could turn up swipe and as long as you have funds on the, the card uh, it works pretty seamlessly so we got a good charge session here got relaxed got a good meal and off we go to toronto
arriving into Belleville, Ontario now. It's about 117 miles, 187 kilometers from Toronto. And our last charge stop of the day. Shame it's not a Tesla because we'd have our pick, as you can see here, lots of superchargers. But this is uh, just a, a last stop, snack, bio break, that kind of stuff. Um, we saw first time on Flow as well, so uh, they have a reciprocal arrangement with electric circuits. So we'll take a look at the charge here, see what we got. So this is a Flow. First Flow of the trip. Reader, which means the charge point is supposed to have an arrangement with these guys. Let's see. Does it work? Recognizes the spot, or is that the other one? charge point only seems to list the other two J1772s but the electric circuit card hasn't failed us yet and there you go. same easy start okay we're starting at 13 percent this time it's as low as we've been the 125 amps again. Yep. Some food. May or may not have used the supercharger. 20 superchargers. <laughs> What's behind me? Hidden the way out back. A couple of level twos, which did appear on the charge point. And those at 75%. That's actually enough, so I think I'll stop it. Bendy. Oh well. Next one's free.
that's all for the night. We've never been below that kind of 50 kilometer, 49, 48 mark. It's rarely been in the orange. We've done pretty well. This is all kilometers, obviously. Let's see if I can find the mileage for our American friends. US. So it's always been that comfortable. Looks like 20, 30 miles. Um, we've never been down to low. We certainly haven't hit reduced propulsion. And part of that is the well-placed uh, charges. There's always, we've had our pick really. They haven't all been, you know, high speed. They haven't all been um, multi-stall, but they've all been available. They've all been working and reliable. So you're certainly cheaper in Quebec than Ontario. Um, presumably because of the abundance of hydroelectric power up in Quebec. But, um, that 4.0 miles per kilowatt hour, that's been pretty much standard throughout the entire journey. The 1,120.6 miles is the entire journey so far. Boston to Montreal to Quebec City and back down here past Toronto in Milton, Ontario.